Howdy, Jacob here. Today we're looking at DHI Group. It's only 77 million market cap, 109 million enterprise value. So if I remember, I like to look at insider ownership and we see 15% of shares held by insiders. That's positive. That's going to mean you as the investor will feel more confident that management, the board, CEO, CFO are going to do what's best for the business because they themselves are heavy investors in it. Founded in 1990, they're in the interactive media and services industry. Their growth is actually negative over the last 10 years. We're going to look at their cash flow statement to see whether those are sell-offs or not. But the last three years, we are seeing positive revenue growth, so that's great. Gross margin, 87% in the most recent year. Operating margin, however, is having trouble finding footing. If they can go back to that 15 to 20%, you're likely looking pretty positive here. But that 87% gross margin is massive. So looks like there might be a lot of sales general and admin expense. Let's see. Okay, so R&D spend going down. There is a lot of sales general and admin as well as other expenses, but I mean, they're still, they're still making profit up here. There are some non other non-operating income that's causing them to maybe not make so much money, but um, even still 18 million for R and D is over 10% of their revenue. So they are taking money away from today to hopefully get more in the future. 4 million cash on hand with no short-term debt, 38 million long-term debt. That has been quite reduced from 10 years ago, but it looks like in 2019 they had 9 million and they have gone more in debt since 2019. And it looks like their production of free cash flow is positive and has been positive every single year the past 10 years, even though it's been getting smaller and smaller. It looks like their CapEx is going up, cash from operations is going down. Not a fantastic story. Their share, they're, they're buying back shares but they're also going into debt to fund that. And so that's a little bit troublesome for me. I do like to assume 100% capital allocation, not over 100%, meaning that they're going into leverage. They're, they're leveraging debt to fund projects and to advance their growth. In my assumptions, I like to assume 100% capital allocation. So I'm ready to start making some assumptions here. This might be a business that I think won't grow really at all. So I don't think... It deserves any sort of premium and a 10p is a pretty basic per perpetuity calculator of just one over 10 percent which was the mark which was what the market wants so 10p feel fine with that these margins are going down so i don't know if they're able to get back to those double digit margins maybe i'll do a pretty big range though to see what it's looking like and then for share change one percent is really just a million but they do issue a lot of stock-based compensation. So let's say they keep it flat, I guess. And it needs to fall 62% before you get the return look for here. I don't know. No growth businesses you want to get extraordinarily cheap. And although they have a lot of insider ownership, this is just a business that you're just not seeing anything that fantastic outside of the gross margin, really. So I'd need to get this really cheap. Right now, it's not there. Hope you enjoy the video.